right, we're on our way to the Great White North. It's about 10 after 6. We are in, are we in New York now? We're in New York State. We started at 10 till 5, so we're making pretty good time. We're on our way to the, uh, where are we going? Passport office. The passport office in Buffalo for some last minute passport dealings. And then we'll be crossing the border somewhere around 10, hitting entry number two, somewhere around three or four. And uh, 12 hours from now, we'll be having a beer at our campsite with a nice campfire going. Grain will have stopped by then, it's supposed to stop at about five. And a little drizzle in the morning, and then we'll be on our way on the Tim River. the Tim River Loop over to Ralph Bice Lake and Man Magna Town. So that's our plan. And uh, we'll report back in about four days to see if that actually happened. All right, we're at the passport office. Tim's got some business to do here. And uh, we're just knocking on the door, waiting for him to open up. About an hour early. All right, we got delayed at the uh, passport office. Can't pick up the passport till two, so we are stopping for lunch at the big ditch. We are stuck in Buffalo till two o'clock, but I think this is a good alternative. Let's see how this goes. All right, we're at the uh, big ditch for lunch. We're gonna do a couple of beers and uh, some lunch, and then head over to the border. They let us across. <laughs> Tim, you get your passport? I swear to God, it is still warm. <laughs> we got a half, half passport, ready to go. <laughs> Sweet. Canada, here we come. We are on our way. We are in Canada. I can't believe they Jesus. fucking let us in after all that. Um, that was easy. That was easy enough. <laughs> We're in Canada after a 10 hour delay. And uh, Tim does have to take a test. He got chosen randomly for a test, so that's sure I'll test before I sure that's not a nasal swab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I filled out the form um, several times, and so I have a paper form that came with the kit, and that's filled out as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was sorry. I was sorry. I was looking at the French side. Let me get on the English side. Okay, that's the English side. Uh, what I need in a test? A number across the top of the box. There's a number on the box. A number on the box. Here we go. Inside of the box. Outside of the box. It's LL000. to the Tim River launch site. It's about 7.30. We're going to be there about 8 o'clock. Dropped off the keys at Peggy's so she can move the truck for us. And now we are on the last final stretch. 
and everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. We're gonna be paddling in the dark while we're eating our steaks and drinking our whiskey and cheers. Roads get a little small, a little bumpy as you can hear, but uh, we're almost there. We're about maybe a quarter mile away or so, according to the map. So a little bit dark. That's what we'll be paddling in. But we got a uh, we got a new moon, so it should be nice and bright. <laughs> All right, we're busy loading up. Uh, looks kind of dark, but it's actually darker than that. The stars are amazing right now. Um, just loading up, getting ready to go. About 8.30. All right, it's 9.15 and we're on our way. And it is dark. Headlamps and just kind of trolling around. You can see the reflection of Sean's life jacket in front of me the stars are super bright beautiful night here you can't see it but there's a beaver swimming right in front of us i'm waiting for it to splash some flashes of lightning way off in the distance there's roy's boat i don't know if you can see it or not it's dark <laughs> had three beavers splash or two beavers splash their tails i just saw that one he ignored us Okay, time check. It is 10.55 and we got the fire going. We're at the campsite on the south side of the island. Uh, looks like it'd be a pretty sight, but it's pretty dark, so we can't tell. <laughs> it's nice. We're getting the steaks ready and we're hoping to have dinner maybe around midnight. <laughs> That's the goal. All right, we got the steaks done. They're rusting. Got a pre-dinner drink and enjoying life. We made it in before midnight, and here's our steak dinner around a campfire. Lights, camp lights are on, and we're ready to eat. So I'm gonna stop talking and start eating. Cooking up our uh, sandwiches for this morning, breakfast sandwiches. Of course, we're using Canadian bacon. Just baking up here. <laughs> Woke up to the loons this morning. Clouds moved in overnight. A little breezy, beautiful morning. Just broke camp on the island site on the uh, on Tim Lake. And we're going to the outlet here is uh, the Tim River coming out. We came in on the Tim, in the Tim Lake, and now going out on the Tim River. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, kind of misty. Not really getting wet, but wind picked up for a while. Seems to have calmed down now, but it's going to be a nice morning. To, you can see the sun trying to poke through. It'll be a nice day. Hopefully we catch some brookies on the river right here. This is the exit here to the lake. Beautiful section of the Tim River. That a flock of mergansers take off right in front of me. Wind is moving us along. Roy is pouring himself a breakfast drink. But we're just getting blown by the wind now. Pretty impressive. Getting into a little bit of rain. Getting more of a drizzle. We're coming up to the falls on the Tim River.
this is the other side of the falls that we just portaged around and the Tim River definitely gets a little skinnier from here on out. This is the uh, Tim River after the dam there, just a little bit of a falls. Our first beaver dam on the Tim River. about right on that edge. Is that a smoother dried down or not yeah, really? This is crazy. Bright sun, beautiful skies, and it is raining fairly hard. Sun's out, guns out, motherfuckers. <laughs>
crazy. This way, Roy. Come on over for some seven. We got some left. We're just, we're just, we're just teasing. Roseberry Lake. It's beauty, eh? We are coming into Longbow Lake from Roseberry Lake. So hopefully we find the three campsites on Longbow. We're shooting for the farthest east one. This video segment brought to you by Shioga Canoe Works. The one, the only, the original. We are at camp on Longbow Lake. Windy, rainy, on and off, all kinds of weather this afternoon and today. But it is really pleasant right now. Watching the sun go down and the clouds are lighting up. Let's see if we get some stars like we did last night, but it is gorgeous right now. Thursday night camp. This is uh, about as cold as it's going to get. I think it's probably about 45 right now. It's supposed to be down to 30 tonight. Got a nice fire going and uh, Sean's over there cooking dinner. You hear the stove going. Another beautiful night. A lot of rain today. Drizzle kept starting and stopping. The sun would come out get hot and then the drizzle would get cold. But of course it was a beautiful day. This is Friday morning from Longbow Lake. 
Zooms woke us up again this morning. It is beautiful. A little chilly, but not bad. They said 30 degrees. I think it's warmer than that. Right here, don't step in the moose track. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Run the portage from longbow to back to the river, Tim River, and got some pretty fresh looking moose tracks uh, right on the Portage Trail. Busy place. <laughs> but if you're going to watch, make sure you video. <laughs> intermission got brought to you by Eddie Barr first ascent <laughs> wilderness camp <laughs> making it look easy oh yeah Tim is prepping the run <laughs> nice. Do you think you can walk away from? Got a hitchhiker. Little puncture repair on from one of the beaver dams. Had about an inch of water in the bottom of my canoe. Now we're pre prepared. We're at the Tim River to Queer Lake, about a mile a walk. Getting ourselves ready, having a beer. <laughs> All right, we are at the end of the portage for to Queer Lake. It is pretty. That was a tough portage, about um, almost a mile and a lot of uphill.
We found our site for Friday night. We are on the easternmost site at Little Trout Pond. And it is gorgeous. Here's the view. And we are sending Tim off to catch our dinner. Cue the fishermen. And this segment brought to you by Genuine Cuban Cigars. Smoke them if you got them. Got our campfire going. The sun is about set. Loons are calling. Beautiful night on Little Trout Lake. Roy's making some bread over the fire on third Friday night. We go with our chili soup mix. This is uh, Tessie's special campfire mix, rosemary thyme. He says cook it on one side for 10 minutes and the other side for 10 minutes. There we go. Check. Check it out. Any questions? No I questions. So. <laughs> By the way, it is Jersey night. Jersey night. You got Jill. Jersey night. Ha ha ha. Whoops, what'd I do? I took a nighttime photo of this. Dummy. Video. Friday night, <clears throat> sitting in front of the campfire, having dinner. So, what do we got? Sean, you want to tell us what we got? We have. Chili chowder con tuna. <laughs> what is that exactly? It is Tim's homemade chili dehydrated. Most of a package of dehydrated store-bought chowder. A package of dehydrated corn. And a packet of sweet Thai chili tuna. What's the uh, bread? It's uh, Tess's homemade rosemary thyme campfire bread. Delicious and done to a turn as usual. It's incredible. Looks like Come I'm to sure. expect it, Tim. <clears throat> Good morning from Little Trout Lake. These tracks we're looking at are moose tracks from a day or two ago, probably. This is right on our beach. <clears throat> right on our camp. Getting ready to take off into Ralph Bice Lake, and the wind is in our face. And we got uh, a 
probably about a two hour paddle to get across. So we'll see how this goes. But Ralph Bice is known for windy and that's what we got right in our face. Ralph Bice Lake, it's always windy. In the wrong direction. We got our fries going. And now we got the burgers on. Looks like a burger. What brand spatula is that there, uh, <laughs> Roy? I don't know. Look at stamped. Probably some kind of Swiss axe. Last night campfire. We are breaking camp on Magna Talon. This is our last campsite. We're rounding third and heading for home.